My name is Marisol Treviso Carlos, and I'm a home visitor for growing up in New Mexico. Home visiting, it's kind of a preventative program. It helps families from pregnancy up until the child is five years old. I meet with families for 45 minutes, about once a week, and then we talk about how everything's going, challenges, highlights, and also if they need to be connected to resources, we tell them about them. One of the basic tenets here is that every family wants to do the best they can for their child and every family has strengths. So we're always looking for those strengths to build on. The objective here is to provide the parents with the support they need so they can be successful. Parents always want to do the best for their kids, but sometimes they're not don't have the information, they don't have the resources, so that's what home visitors do. We just bring them the information to the homes. When I was pregnant, I, w I became part of the program. I had a home visitor who would come and uh, talk to me about how the pregnancy was going and everything. And then once my son was born, we continued with the visits. See, for me, it was really nice to have somebody who would listen to me, who would validate how I was feeling, who would tell me like what things were normal, what things were not normal. There's this very beautiful relationship that develops. It's really nice to have people come open your houses to your hearts. And I thought it was really neat. And I'm like, oh, I think I can make a difference in this field. Home visiting has something to offer everyone. It is a, a remarkable program that is adaptable and can meet the needs of a really wide variety of people and really add support at a, just a really challenging time. There's families who have PhDs and there's also families who are teen moms. Home visits vary from family to family. What we do um, in Growing Up New Mexico is that we create an individualized plan. The first time that I've met with families, we talk about what they would like to learn and how they would like the visits to look like. We talk about possible assessments that are coming up, or we also talk about development. Usually how it goes is that I knock on the door, they welcome me in. We usually sit on the living room floor where the baby's at or where the toddler is. First, um, ask them how their week has, has been how it's been like to be a parent for the specific child. And then they tell me if it has been really good or if they had had struggles or challenges throughout the week. And then we brainstorm together. Oh, why do you think this is happening? And if there's something really good, we celebrate together. It's like, yeah, the baby thing is so great. I always drop information and curriculum pieces as we talk. As a home visitor, I see a lot of Great things, right? It comes from the smallest things, which is like helping a baby learn how to eat solid foods, uh, to like bigger things, right? Where there's families who are struggling, who are having really hard times, um, that they don't have the resources necessary uh, to give their children the best life that they want to give them. A critical piece of what we do in home visiting too is connect families to the resources that they need in their community. It was this uh, family that I was seeing and the mom was in an abusive situation and she had a lot of disadvantages. So she, at first she didn't know what to do. She was very independent on her partner. So for her it was very hard to make that decision, but she did it. And even though she didn't have too many family in town, she didn't have a really good support system. She was able to get the support that she needed through the agency. And thanks to that, that, that there was somebody for her, she was able to actually become independent and know that she could do this for her family. When a person is first expecting a baby, we have very different ideas of what it would really look like, right? We can go through all the classes, read all the books, but actually the reality can be a lot different from what we expect having a home visitor kind of normalizes a lot of things. Being like, yeah, you know, a lot of parents go through those things at that age and that is completely normal. I, as a parent, went through very similar situations and all of the families that I visit are actually in the same boat that you are at the moment. It just gives parents this confidence uh, that they, what they're doing is actually more than good enough.